Hey guys, and welcome back to Dinnercraft. Today is actually a bit of a different episode. You might be hearing the amazing classic Minecraft music currently. You know what? This is a really slow intro. Today, we are actually finishing off a few things, including my getaway. We're leaving. I'm heading off for a little bit from Dinnercraft and Dinnercraft Island. No one knows about this yet. I haven't told anyone because in this video, we're actually going to be surprising everyone and giving every single member of Dinnercraft, as long as I can find their base <laughs> or a shop here built by them, we're going to be giving them all a gift as a thank you for allowing me to join them for this adventure. Because in all honesty, heart to heart, I've been really busy. I've had a lot of stuff happening in my real life and just other things happening on my channel that have made it really difficult for me to actually find time to play on this server. And I discovered that doing one thing that I've done in this video, which you guys will see later, and you know, I, I think I think we've gotten the depressing music out of it. Well, there we go. <laughs> but I have done a little bit in this video, which you guys will see very shortly. But yeah, this is actually going to be my, not final, because I can come back. It's just, This is just going to be my, for now, farewell to Dinnercraft video. So yeah. Now, you might be thinking, what, what made me go, hey, yo, Troy, what made you, what actually made you realize that this is going to be it? What made you realize you do not have enough time? Well, oh crap. Well, about two days ago, we actually had, if you guys don't know, the trial for Alito. And I didn't have time to do it. I couldn't join. I had no time. I had no free time to do it. But yet, that was such a big thing. I have, I've not had one event where I've seen everyone on the server. And knowing that pretty much everyone else on the server has... It kind of hits me a little bit, makes me realize maybe I don't have enough time just like everyone else does. So sadly, that kind of got me thinking a lot. And now I'm at the point of I've kind of done a lot on this server. I, I think it's okay if I have a break for a minute because we do have a reason we're leaving. Technically, I'm making a reason. <laughs> so we do have a reason we're leaving. But before we, before we get into all that, that's going to be the end when we actually set sail on our little raft here. <laughs> before we get to any of that, we still have some things that we need to cover in the series. Firstly, we actually started up our private investigator group, which was going to be my main big thing. And we got another hint from Chives, who I've tried messaging, but Sadly, he isn't online currently, so we actually we won't be able to figure this out. But I will pass it off to I think it was Marx. Was it Marx? No, it was it was Mega Bub Fish, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Mega Bub. He is also being a private eye, so I'm gonna pass off this information from Chives to him. But we also had this last video. We went hunting for this some creepy guy over by Nathan's place or Chathrika's place, and we actually found him. I didn't see him at the time, but here's some footage as I'm talking of him actually popping up. You guys pointed it out to me about three different times he popped up, which is creepy because, well, he looks very similar to someone. I don't I don't quite know who, but he looks very similar to someone. So what I'm thinking we're going to do, I've done a bit of research into the paranormal, and I think what we're going to do is, I'll, you know, I'll even show you guys my notes. I've got, obviously, you know, all my little bit of documentation from what I've discovered through my private eye investigating work, but I've actually written down a few little things in the back page, being the paranormal guide. Are you having ghost problems? Follow this guide for an easy fix. And I took basic instructions down. I didn't really need to write down the details. It's pretty simple. Build shrine, summon demon slash ghost, kill demon slash ghost, fixed. Problem solved. That's all we got to do. So we're going to head out to Nathan's base, which I'm pretty sure he's actually not really living at currently. And we're going to try and ba vanquish this demon thing. I don't even know if it's a demon. It just seems to be a Hero Brian thing. So we're going to do that in this video. And along with that, the main thing that I said before, or I hinted at before, that I made, that made me realize I'm not going to have enough time to play on the server as much anymore, is my mega base. Yeah, no, I, I, have, I have not finished it. But I've done a lot of work, and I'm actually going to put up that bit of land as a spot that anyone on the server can actually build something on. So they can build there, but because I might come back in the future, it won't be a permanent thing. So it's just going to be a thing that people can go to and just add ideas to it. And it will basically be a bit of a social experiment. So if they want to, they can add to the build. And then when I do come back in the future, or I should say if I come back in the future, it's more than likely I will when I get more free time. I can see what they've built and see how it's turned out. We'll also we'll also go and get to that in a second. But yeah, that that is really cool. And you know what? Let's actually let's go and show you guys what I've built so far and how much of the mega base I've finished. Here it is. Yo, we, I just realized we came out of a different portal this time. I have actually constructed all four of these portals, uh, which are by I'm pretty sure it's 
Gold Robert? Oh man, hold up a second. I'm going to get his name up so I don't pronounce this wrong. The design and layout of these portal swords was actually done by Gold Robin. So you can go check him out. I'll link all these stuff down below. So the Instagram and Twitter. But I decided to actually finish these. His design was more using all the netherite stuff at the time that got released in the netherite update. Or the, not netherite, the nether update. So the nether wart blocks and all that kind of stuff. The new wood kind of things, the blue wood. But I decided to change it to the wood colors that I really like. And we've done all four of the swords. My whole original idea was building this and then chains coming off to them, having this whole area mined out like an island has been lifted out and then being hold, like being up in the sky floating with some crystal in the middle kind of holding it up. That was that was my original idea and that was going to be my mega base. But for now, yeah, this is all I could do. Don't get me wrong, these swords <laughs> took me forever, but this is all I could do. So I'm actually going to open this up for people on the server. Anyone on the server can come here if they want and build something. As long as it's not stupid, like, yeah, something dumb. I will say, though, anything they do build, it just has to be in this circle, and it has to, ha like, match my idea of what I'm doing. So if they do have any ideas that would roll off what I've done so far, then, yeah, they, they can feel free to do it as much as they like. And it'll be really interesting to see when we come back what has been done, because I don't know how long I'll be gone for. And it might even be cool to just, if I do come back the very end of when this series does end for other people, it would be cool to see what people have done to that thing that I build as well. So, I don't know. I think that'll be... It's kind of a really cool social experiment. But for now, let's actually head to my first base, being my Thanos farm thing that I constructed, and actually grab some of the materials needed for this demon removal procedure. Because I've done a bit of research, and I think I know what we need. So this stuff should actually be what I need to get rid of this demon, whatever it is. So let's head over to Nathan's base now. Which, actually, no. You know what? Yeah, no, 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 we're going to go through the portal. I was going to say we can go that way, but it might take a bit longer. So let's head through the portal. I don't think Nathan lives here anymore. I think he's moved to that underwater base, which is fine, which is fine. I don't I don't know where that is. <laughs> so we're not going to bother with that. But, oh my God, there's so many cats. What we're going to do is build this shrine somewhere. Oh my God, this, wait, does this look cleaner? Has he come back here? This looks a lot less messy. I don't know. Okay, you know, I also got to keep an eye out. He... That guy might be here again. No one's online currently, again. So if that thing or that thing is in the corner somewhere, you guys have to let me know. I thought I thought that was it for a second. But let me know if you see anything. And so all we should have to do is that, 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 that. And then once I place this final redstone torch, it should get rid of the thing. <laughs> Clonk. Now to get rid of this thing, it should be pretty easy, right? I should only have to do like a chant. So like, uh, hippity hoppity, this place isn't your property. Back, demon. Demon? Oh, yo, hold up. What was that? <laughs> hold on a second. We're, cl we're clearly upsetting it. Go away. Do not return or you will be severely burnt. Yeah, did that do it? Oh, yes, we're pissing it off, clearly. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. Um, that was two strikes. We need to do one more bad burn. I don't know. I need to think of something more clever. Hero Brian, more like, um... Hero, hero, hero wine. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, crap. <laughs> Holy crap. I can't see it. Wait, is the lightning actually there? Oh, uh, okay. Um, hero Brian sucks. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's cool. Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay, that, that should have done it. That should have gotten rid of whatever the thing was. And as you can see, there is nothing here that we did <laughs> to do any of that. We didn't, we didn't do that. I swear. I swear, guys. Come on, just work with me for a minute. But that should have done it. I think. For now, we'll leave this built here. There we go. You're welcome, Nathan. We have cured you. I hope. Man, can you imagine if I now see him as I'm leaving? There's still no one online. Okay, okay. Uh, there's that. All done. You're welcome, Nathan. My fee will be added to your doorstep at any time. So you can pay me back, you know, once, once, once you get the money for it. But considering we've done that, we've done our mega base stuff. Our end... You know, we'll check on our shops towards the end as well. I think what we're going to do is make little... We'll probably make some little gift boxes for people. So let's grab some wood and make some chests because I need to make actually quite a few things. We have a lot of diamonds. <laughs> like, we, we have a lot of diamond blocks. So I might gift I might gift people that. I might gift people some diamond blocks uh, and some gold nuggets. And some, and some gold nuggies. Yeah, we'll give them some gold nuggies as well. And you know what? Just this... For, I don't have enough TNT. Uh, for some good measure. So they know it was me. Some ender pearls. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's let's start heading to people's bases and leaving these little these little boxes of thank you messages. Actually, I should probably. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna rename some of the diamond blocks to each, you know, I'll rename it to each person when we get to their base. Starting off with the worst person in the world. Oh, <laughs> obviously I'm joking guys. Going to Nathan's base. I think this is it at least. I'm pretty sure this is Nathan's base. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, and it's down here. Oh, yo, this looks cool. I've, I haven't actually seen what Nathan's been working on. Oh, is this like a mob farm kind of thing? Or is this just his mining area? I think this might just be his mining area. I really like this. This looks freaking awesome. Okay, I think this is I think this is his spot. So we'll just leave... Oh, man. Yeah, we'll just leave the... We'll leave the, the chest here. So what I'm going to do is probably leave a little, like, a hey, nice base. Like, I'm just going to say something like towards them and I've got 16 because I'm pretty sure that's how many people we have doing a quick count and it's just like anyway thanks for having me on and there we go so that's gonna be I'm gifting everyone two diamond blocks that they can convert and then we'll just give him some uh, <laughs> gold yeah gold nuggies <laughs> sure and two ender pearls because it looks like a funny face this is Rin's base and I have to say it this base looks insane so still one of my fave bases anyways Thanks for having me on this back. I really like this look. This looks so cool. Actually, how does it look with the new shaders? I should probably turn my shaders back on because that's what we were rocking at the start of the video and it would it would make sense to keep that. Oh, man. Oh, man. This looks incredible. All right. Well, there's Rin's base moving on because I think Sev's is the next closest one to Sev. I actually think, no, this is Mark's base, isn't it? Mark's? Oh, I think this is Mark's base. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure at least I'm only saying that because these heads. Yeah. These are, these are Mark's craft heads, so either someone's been killing, <laughs> either someone's been killing Mark's craft, or this is his base, and I'm just going to leave a little thing here. There we go, thanks for all the help. Anyway, thanks for having me on. Cool, there's that little package. You know what, I might actually, I might instead of just showing all of these, because some of the members might actually be watching my video, I'm just going to probably go to everyone's base now, and just leave little messages, and they can check it out. If you guys want to see their reactions, I will, of course, have everyone linked down into the description. I'll, I'll probably have it like a group link or something. So it'll just be one link. You click that and it'll show everyone. And you can go check out all their reactions to it. I don't know if any will really care. <laughs> so yeah, let's 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 just continue doing what I'm doing. And who I need to figure out where people's bases are still. And I guess middle of nowhere. God damn it. I'm trying to figure out where to go. I don't know whose base is what. Where, where is this? What? Okay, this is... Is this Bobfish or is this Marks? Wait, ah, oh, god damn it. Who is this? Who is this? This is Lee! God damn it! Okay, well, that's fine. We're figuring this out slowly. Is this Lee? Wait, isn't this tree... Oh my god, this is insane. Isn't this tree... Isn't this tree Sev's tree? Oh, wait, is this... Are they in a group? Oh, they might actually have a group base. Oh, do they have a group base? Because this was Sev's tree, wasn't it? I swear it was. This is kind of hard because this might be Lee or it might be Sev. So I'm, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to put Lee and Sev's things here. There we go, guys. Everyone has now got a gift. At least I think everyone. These are the three people I couldn't actually find. I did put a little sign here saying gifts from Butter Jaffa. Everyone has one. And well, I put the people I could not find anything of like their base or builds, at least that I was aware of. So here we have Arcanus saying you to bomb. Then here we have Veal saying thanks for mending, a hint back to the beginning of the series. And then over here, uh, Miss Murray or Murray, which I know I've never ran into her. So this is her free diamonds. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. These ones are done. I will say with some people, their stuff like down here, this is where I put Alitos because well, yeah, this is his food truck. And that's one of the main things that I always used to go to uh, with bees. I actually, where did I put bees? <laughs> where, hold on a second. Here I put chives and I've put uh, balanced. There we go. Cool. Over in that, I think that is Dan. I think that's Dan the man's uh, jukebox thing. So I put Dan's in there. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it is. Nathan's is obviously at his base. Sev's and Lee's, I think are at Sev's and Lee's base because I think they share it. Mark's is at his old base or base currently. Mega Bubfish is in here. That's Mega Bubfish is right there. And, um, Gabibos, where I put Gabibos in somewhere. Oh yeah, up there. There you go. You can see it. The chest over there. Nathan. Yeah, I've already said Nathan's. Uh, who else am I missing here? I'm trying to go off them all the, off the top of my head. And I put, I'm trying to think of where I put bees. No, that's right. The brand new netherite shop that he has created. Huh. As soon as I get rid of mine, a brand new one goes up. But this is bees netherite shop. And I put it right here saying, uh, have fun with netherite. Because <laughs> I think that's very fitting. But there we go. That is all that done. And in honesty, that is everything that I needed to do. We've gone over our mega base. We've done more of our summoning or getting rid of this demon. 
I think the only thing left is really going over my shops, making sure they're all good, and oh, explaining what happened with my Temple of Time challenge, because someone has won. As you can see, it is gone. The sword is gone. And I just realized, have I? No, I haven't grabbed any of these. Well, <laughs> here we go. We are now full of usernames. Cool, but the sword is gone, and Lee won it. Lee actually won, and I put a little joke towards Lee and Sev because Lee and Sev were so close. Sev was technically the first to find the shrine, but Lee was the first to message me in-game about it. So I basically made it so if Lee dies, it goes to the people that have won it in what order. So hopefully they're all going to share it and all that kind of stuff because the sword is broken, but congratulations, Lee. And if you do die, you have to pass the sword along. Uh, but I did say I'd have a quick look at this before we did anything bad. It looks like we've got the Majora's Mask Moon, Godzilla, a hot air balloon, some battleships. Yeah, yeah, we've got quite a bit of stuff here, which looks amazing. That Godzilla looks insane. No idea who built that. I'm pretty sure... Part of me wants to say Nathan, because it matches Nathan's building design style. So I really like that. But there we go. That's it. That is everything I needed to do. I don't think there's anything left here. Only thing I'm going to do now is head over to my private investigator cabin thing and just put a little sign up out front saying away on holiday or something. There we go. Away on holiday. Be back sometime. Cool. <laughs> so people can still walk in if they want. But there we go. That is that done. Oh, man. This is so weird. It's so weird. But you know what? I think, I think going on holiday is a great idea. Let's head over to our little boat and head off on our little holiday. This is going to be my little adventure boat. Let's hop in. And there we go. Let's, let's, you know, let's actually load up this. We've got plenty of money to spend on this holiday. And there we go. <laughs> I think we'd be right. We've got some food, got our weapons. I think we'll be all right. And there we go, guys. This is it. This is where I'm going to be ending it. I hope you guys did enjoy this series. And well, like I said, I probably will come back to it. But for now, this is where I'm going to end it. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. And thank you, everyone who was on this server, who joined me. This was so fun. And this, for the first ever Minecraft server like this that I played on, this was amazing. Thank you so much. Hope you guys all enjoy your gifts. And I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.